the cultural dna of the vedic people pushed an entire society to live to the rhythms of nature it's also reflected in the elucidation of astronomical phenomena in terms of expanding time scales moving to larger time scales may be the vedic astronomers penchant for circumventing fractional arithmetic let's consider a smart illustration moon rotates 13 times around the earth in one year and then some fraction in 19 years the fractional parts become full cycles we can assume that vedic astronomers talked about a 19 year cycle astronomer lagarde's rule of thumb suggests a regression of one nakshatra position when a winter solstice prediction repeats the rule's smartness lies in the way it simplifies the problem for the non experts 19 year cycle suggests a 513 year cycle of regressing through every nakshatra did vedic astronomers talk about a 513 year cycle let's consider the idea of the number of gandharvas being 6333 6333 synodic months fit perfectly in 512 years there are 6854 whole nakshatra cycles in 512 years The lengths of synodic and sidereal months averaged over 512 years matches the precision of modern day understanding of these numbers. Coordinated observations conducted over 20 generations must have preceded formulas involving such long cycles. Vedic tradition attributes them to cognition in deep states of meditation. Astronomer Lagarde at a later time was only packaging the same knowledge into a more practical formula. Orientalists of 18th century held a different opinion. According to them, the references to nakshatras in his formula must be a reflection of the position of the sky. during the time of lagarda